Okay, what is up YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. Let me know in the comments section if you can hear me okay. I have got an exciting episode for you all today. Just waiting for a couple people to tune in and we will get started. As I pull up our comment section. If it wants to load. How's the audio, everybody? Can you all hear me okay? I'm having trouble pulling up my audio, the comments right now. Let me know in the comments also, were you a green day today? I finally saw my first green day this whole month, it seems. Okay, I've got comments up and going. I don't know what was going on with that. Only five viewers. I'm going to give it just a couple more minutes before we get into the meat of it. So today we are going to be discussing the massive Federal Reserve announcement as well as Mexico recently legalized the recreational use of cannabis. Now that was a few days ago, but I'm going to be covering all of that in this jam-packed informative episode. And I still don't see any comments. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm wondering if my audio is even working. Usually Andrew sets this up for me. This is only my second other live stream with you all. Good, so you can hear me. Great, great, great. Well, I guess while we wait for a couple more people to tune in, let's go ahead and start with the first few minutes of CNBC's few minute um, recap of their key points, what they thought happened with the Federal Reserve announcement, and then I'll get into my own personal opinion of it, and we will get into what you all really came here for, that cannabis announcement. But this is going to play into all of that, so let's just jump right into it. And some not substantial changes to its forecast. First, the ones that didn't change. The median funds rate for the forecast sees no hikes through 2023. That's the median. There were some changes inside. We'll get to those in a second. It sees inflation at or above 2% this year through 2023, including 2.4% this year for the PCE indicator. It lowered the employment rate forecast to 4.5% for this year, going to 3.5% by 2023, and it boosted its GDP forecast. This is the average or median forecast for all Fed officials, boosting it to 6.5% from 4-2 for this year. Talking about those famous dots, where are the Fed officials when it comes to the outlook for rates? Four officials now see 2022 rate hikes. That's up from one in the prior, that is the December projection. Seven officials see 2023 rate hikes. That's up from five. But still, there's no change in the medium because only a small, a small number continue to call for those rates. Let's get to the statement now. The Fed saying or a new change in the statement that economic and employment indicators have turned up recently, though sectors affected by the pandemic have remained weak. Fed continues to see inflation running below 2%. That is its 2% target. And using some boilerplate language from old uh, from prior statements, it's committed to using its full range of tools. The path of the economy depends on the course of the virus and policy will remain accommodative until the Federal, the Federal Reserve achieves its goals. Asset purchases will continue, as it said in the past, until substantial further progress has been made. The decision was unanimous. Tyler. All right, let, let's follow up with a couple of questions. On inflation, they see for the full year, even though it's running uh, below 2% now for the full year uh, of this year, 2.4% inflation, 4.5% unemployment this year, uh, dipping to 35 by 2023. Right. How close are they really, and what is the implication for policy? How close are they really to that dual mandate imperative that they want to hit, which is inflation of 2% two, 2 or maybe a little above, and full unemployment, which is, I don't know what it is, 35 4 well, I have to I have to amend your question, if you will, Tyler, with all due respect. Sure. Remember, the goal is to aim for inflation above 2%. So Correct. So it hits it this year. So maybe it hits that inflation goal, though it does go back down, <clears throat> pardon me, to 2% in the next uh, 2022 and 23. And it gets to 3.5% unemployment. Now, I have to take a guess or a stab and say that's their goal, right? Getting back to the 
prior low unemployment rate. So that doesn't happen until 2023. So the dual mandate, if you take these literally and you make some assumptions about where their goals are numerically, they don't hit the dual mandate till 2023 and they don't see themselves really even raising rates then. The median forecast for the funds rate in 2023 remains 0.1%. Their longer one uh, forecast, their longer one goal or potential is two and a half percent for the funds rate. So let me ask you um, a, a quick follow up here. You said that four of the members expect rate hikes, the first rate hike to be in 2022 next year, and seven are predicting it for 2023. How big a difference is that from just the last meeting? I think you said there was only one uh, who was going to go on the record to say right. rate hikes were coming in 2020. Three or 2022? I've forgotten. Clarify. 2022. I've got to look at two separate documents here, Tyler, if you don't mind, and sure. I will tell you exactly what the story is. So there was one prediction for a rate hike in 2022. That's now four. That's so now four. three became uh, br brought it forward. And there were five uh, uh, forecasts for, for 2023 rate hikes. Uh, these are back in December, obviously, the last projections. And now there's seven. So, um, so obviously, how big, there are, how big a change is that? Put Go that ahead. into a context. Is that more than people expected? Roughly what you might have expected is, and how is it fit in historically? I think it's in line. I, I, I think it's in line. Look, Tyler, during the pandemic and in the middle of the pandemic, we had nothing but doves on the FOMC panel. I think now, you know, David Kelly was talking before about, is it 9-9? Nine, nine? I think now what we're seeing here is a little bit of kind of uh, you know, separation back to maybe some traditional uh, uh, stances that some of these FOMC members took, which is you're going to have some members are going to be more hawkish. They're going to want to move a little faster. Some are going to be a little more dovish. I think when you have situations like that, well, you ask the mo most important question, where's the chairman? I think the chairman right now is very dovish when it comes to wanting to keep interest rates down, keep policy in place until they achieve their dual mandate. It's significant. There's a discussion obviously going on. There are differences of opinion, but when the median doesn't change, it tells you that the full weight of the board remains behind this dovish policy. All right, Steve, thanks very much. Okay, guys, so that's all I want to show you with that little episode. I feel like he just did such a great job summing up everything the Federal Reserve had to offer for us today. And I didn't honestly think I could beat his explanation of that. But the few key highlights from that is it's just good news, good news, good news. The Federal Reserve didn't come out and punish us and the economy in any way. And in fact, they said inflation looks good for the next few years. They're going to keep interest rates as low as they are now, at least into 2023. They just expect our GDP to get much better going into the rest of this year. They did say that they expect GDP to maybe start declining into next year, but that wasn't even for sure, but they just expect good news all around. All of their expectations have been risen according to this announcement, and that is so exciting. That's gonna affect every single sector, and I think that is largely due to why I finally had a green day this month. It seems like this whole month, every time I look, it's just more and more red. But you have to know the plays you're holding. And right now I know I have diamond hands, so the red hasn't been scaring me. And I haven't panicked on any single day that I looked at my portfolio. And in the spirit of transparency, Andrew and I are going to start bringing you our portfolio updates much more often than just once a month. Now, no, you can get access to both Andrew and I's personal portfolios every single day in live time on our Discord. But we are going to start posting it at least weekly for you on YouTube to see our portfolio. Right now I have about eight thousand dollars invested into my 5k to 100k portfolio and that eight thousand dollars is worth roughly eleven thousand two hundred and thirty three dollars as i am recording this for you andrew is currently beating me i think he's sitting around twenty thousand dollars right now but do know although he's beating me I technically had to cash out 20000 just to start this race on a fair leg. At the beginning of this year, I liquidated a large portion of my NWBO shares just so that we could both start the 5K at 5K. It wouldn't have been fair if I already started at 20. Um, but that's enough of that. So the Federal Reserve had massive news for us today. But honestly, what I was more excited to talk about in today's episode is Mexico legalizing recreational use of cannabis. I have already brought you guys several plays, play after play of money makers in this industry. And I want to give you an update because a couple of the plays I brought you, AFRI around $6 a share, that hit a high of like $40. I brought you... CGC, I think at $13 a share and it's sitting at $33 as we're recording right now. 
I wanna give you an update though, with all these stocks way higher than when I first recommended them, do I still recommend them? Do I think other people maybe have better performance right now? I'm gonna get into all that in this episode. Let me catch up a couple comments real quick. I see a couple people are offering, are asking me for that lifetime membership. Well, guys, we were trying to make that super exclusive and we were really trying to reward the first 30,000 subscribers we had by giving away a lot of them early on, but that really wasn't something we planned to do a lot of. Um, you can join our Discord for just $25 a month and you get access to all this information, which I'm going to be presenting was already on Discord or is on our Discord right now if you had the time to look through it. We have an excellent community of people posting all kinds of excellent DD. They're people just like you and me, invested retail investors. And that is how I learned about this federal announcement today, actually. Somebody posted news that they were going to have a live stream at 2.30. So of course I made sure I was watching that for you to bring you all the news you needed to know. Afria is a banger. Yes, I agree, Omar. Um, I'll tell you what, guys, just because I've seen the message a couple times, you're asking for the lifetime membership of Discord. This will be one of the very last times we're doing this though, guys. For $100 right now, you can cash app or Venmo, Andrew or I, at Alpha Status Stocks. It's all one word on Cash App and on Venmo. For $100, I'll get you a lifetime membership. And this, again, is gonna be one of the very last streams you ever see this kind of offer. But Mexico legalized this. What are the best plays for it right now? Well, Afria has been making all of the news lately. Afria and Tilray's partnership right now has been on everybody's radar because they are about to form the world's largest cannabis company per revenue when they have when this merger goes through there will be no other company that makes more in revenue than afria and i am happy to announce that they were the very first cannabis stock i ever talked about on this channel and i started investing into afria around three dollars a share and if memory serves me right i brought it to you guys around six dollars a share this puppy's sitting around thirty dollars a share right now let me look that up for you i don't want to misquote information i actually haven't looked at it in a couple days one of my only regrets with this position is I sold out way too early. We're sitting at 21.19 per share right now of Afria. Well, Afria and the Tilray merger is going to go through very soon if both companies approve it. They both have their investor conference calls coming up where current shareholders are allowed to vote for the merger. Right here on screen is one of the highlights and key takeaways of this merger. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong page right here. That was my CGC right here. That will be the next one I'm discussing. So Afria and Tilray, you can see they, they created an entire investor presentation page to highlight everything that's gonna be going on in this presentation. Um, Trucker Trey, yes you can. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up comments while I talk. Everything's still good with SGMD? Yes it is, I'll hit on that towards the end. Basically, hold strong, buy the dip. Yeah, I know it's an ugly, ugly dip right now. But let's get back into Afria. So right now you're combining two of the highly, two of the highest revenue businesses. Uh, actually, let me just get into the slides here. I saw a couple cool slides I wanted to share for you. So you can see right here, look at the profitability they're looking at for the Q1 of 2021 with the combined companies and how it will frail in comparison to everything they've been doing so far with Afria and Sweetwater products merging. This was just a very exciting slide for me to come across and I wanted to bring that one to your attention too. You're welcome to pause this at any time too during the replay of the live stream. You can see a lot of the brands they have right now. I personally have never really heard of any of these because they're kind of mostly a Canadian-based company at this point, but they are definitely gonna be very well suited after this merger to break into the Mexican cannabis market. A, because this merger is going to provide them at least two years of running capital for the next two years for them to continue operating their business. That was one of the most exciting things to me about this is from this point forward, they already have two years worth of business expenses in their books. All right, that's exciting. I love companies that are fundamentally stable in that regard. And sorry, I was looking at questions. Yes, $100 right now will get you a lifetime membership to our Discord. And it is one of the very last times we are going to run this special. Honestly, that's just too cheap, but we are trying to build the community and we're trying to reward some of the very first subscribers we had on this channel. What your membership includes, Ryan, is access to a hundreds, literally hundreds of like-minded investors like us that just care about providing us with excellent resources of due diligence into the companies that we are all invested into. Because if you're watching this channel, you probably own shares of some of the companies we talked about. So does every 
everybody else in our Discord community. Um, Ryan, you can go ahead and pay right now. We're doing Cash App, we're doing Venmo. They are both alpha status stocks. Um, one starts with a dollar sign, one starts with an at sign, Cash App or Venmo. Alpha status stocks, one word. Um, kind of lost my train of thought there. So you can see right here that they're going to form, Afria and Tilray are going to form the largest global cannabis company by revenue. And once this happens, guys, because I've been preaching Afria for so long, if you want to get more specific, in-depth information about that company specifically, go watch one of my other videos about them. But this is just so exciting. Both of these companies are vertically integrated and they are about to, actually, let me pull that up for you. There was a slide here that I wanted to quote one part from. I don't know where it was, but anyways, these two companies are going to complement each other very well because some of them, where Afria has a weakness in one country specifically, Tilray has a strength that they can quarterback off of each other for, and vice versa in another company. They are strengthening each other. They are strengthening each other literally worldwide at this point, and I love the way that they are complementing each other. Ryan Mickens, yes, that is correct. A dollar sign alpha status stocks. Um, it looks like a couple of you asking questions about some of the stocks. Let me quickly run you through my synopsis of buy, sell, or hold on many of the popular cannabis stocks we've been talking about. Um, uh, see money. I do have Zell, but I don't know the name. Um, yeah, I don't know what my name is on Zell. Sorry. Cash App or Venmo, both alpha status stocks. Um, you can... Super chat it, but unfortunately, YouTube takes 40% of all of our super chats. Man, they just can't let you have nothing nice in this world. Please do a review on them. Jake, I didn't see who you wanted me to review. But anyways, SGMD, I know that's taking a huge, terrible dip right now. It's very ugly to look at. It's my worst position. It alone has tanked my 5K to 100K portfolio because I picked up 526,000 shares of this company. And now I'm down like $5,000 on my position, which is literally down like 80 or 90%. It's, it's incredible. This is the worst loss I've ever suffered. And I am not at all worried about it for two reasons. A, I only put money into these high risk stocks that I'm okay with losing. I understand high risk, high reward stocks. The first two words there, high risk. I understood that there's a possibility I lose all of my money, so I'm not going to sweat it. It wasn't money that I needed to pay all of my week to week bills. And I still know what's in my hand. I know the potential Sugar Maid has, and I didn't plan to swing trade this or any of my plays. Anyways, these are all over one year investments for me. Remember, we're not your financial advisors. You have to do your own due diligence too. But because I knew I was going to hold this play for over a year anyways, why am I sweating that it's down a few days after I bought it? That doesn't matter. It was a long-term play for me. And that's the number one thing we're trying to teach you on this channel is you don't have to be a day trader to make money in the stock market. A lot of people are afraid to invest in the stock market because they think you have to be a day trader and monitor all these charts and patterns and news day in and day out. Well, we're here to show you that you do not have to do that. You can do your due diligence into fundamentally stable companies. You can follow the right channels like Alpha Status Stocks and Alpha Status Fitness, and you can learn how to get into these plays over longer periods of time so that you don't have to sweat day to day on all these movements. And that's what I'm doing with Sugar Maid. I think in the next three years, Sugar Maid's going to be 100x what I bought it for right now. And the fact that I scooped up 526,000 shares of this position right now, that's just incredible to me. This is going to be one of my wealth make, one of my fortune maker plays. I'm still certain of it. And again, though, even if it's not, and even if I'm wrong, this wasn't money that I needed for my day-to-day -day bills. And that's what I really want to stress to all of you guys because I know 90% of us were not taught about stocks in school and our parents didn't teach us about stocks. So that's what Andrew and I are here to do. We're self-taught and unfortunately we learned a lot of this through our own mistakes. And that's what you can learn from us is learn from our mistakes. Whew, I know I was getting a little winded on there. Some people said I, I should have been a radio host. <laughs> you guys agree? <laughs> um... H-I-T-I-F, on the move. Yes, right now, that is my personal favorite cannabis stock. 
simply because I feel for what they have to offer, it's still very early into buying their stock. I feel like they are just slept on right now. They are way undervalued. I actually just picked up a thousand more shares on my TD margin account. So now I've got 2000 shares of high tide HTIF because again, this is a more than a one year hold for me. And I think in the next three years, HITIF is just going to explode. Um, that's my personal favorite one just because I think they're undervalued. But again, I still love Afria. You can see details about the Afria and Tilray merger on my screen right now. I wasn't going to just read from the screen on all this. And I see Andrew hopped in the comment section. Thank you so much, Andrew. Thought he was leaving me high and dry tonight, but I'm glad to see he's there answering some of your questions, I hope. Um, I'm not seeing any questions right there. C money, yes, that looks correct. Alpha status stocks. Venmo is at alpha status stocks, Andrew says. Um, let me get into CGC now. CGC was the second stock I ever talked about on this channel. I believe I brought CGC to you guys at like $13 a share. We're currently sitting at $33 a share. This was my personal favorite company, and it still is at least top three my personal favorite company because Canopy Growth is strategically partnered with Constellation Brands. Constellation Brands right here, you can see they agreed in October of 2017 to pay $245 million for about a 10% stake in Canopy Growth. And over time, they have grown that position to, I think the most recent estimate is Constellation Brands owns roughly 35% of Canopy Growth. And because of that is what makes me so excited about Canopy Growth and its potential for the future. And holy cow, guys, I see I have almost 200 watchers and only 60 likes. Come on, guys. I know you can all go tickle that little gray button blue for me. I've been spitting bars since the moment I got on this stream. Please hit that like button for me. It's literally free support for this channel. And it tells YouTube to show this live stream to more and more people so that all of our friends and family can make money with us. So please hit that like button for me. Drop kick it if you have to. And if you record a hilarious video of you drop kicking that like button, don't do that. You can't do that. I'll get in trouble for that. But that would be hilarious and I would definitely not maybe post it on the channel. <laughs> okay, so Canopy Growth is partnered with Constellation Brands. If you don't know who Constellation Brands is, well, you're in luck because I pulled it up for you. Constellation Brands is one of the biggest beverage brands in the world. And it actually is the owner of Andrew's personal favorite beer. And that's Corona. Constellation Brands owns Corona. They own so much more than that. They own Modella. I, I literally would have to spend 30 minutes telling you every single brand that they own. And The Amazing World, member of our Discord, lifetime member, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. If you want to report on that, let me know from the NICI. Yes, The Amazing World has been putting massive contributions into our Discord channel. For $25 a month, you get access to our Discord or right now in one of the very last times we are ever going to run this special for $100, you can get a lifetime membership of Discord and we have members just like the Amazing World right there that is posting free information to some maybe or maybe not paid subscription services wink, wink, that you get for just $25 a month. It's over a $300 value currently, and we plan to grow that value more and more over time. Seriously, I don't know what you're waiting for to join the most turned up stock channel on YouTube. Now you get the chance to turn the most turned up Discord in the Discord community. You get what I'm getting at. Um, so Constellation Brands is definitely a huge, revolutionary, new... Um, company that you can invest into, and I'm sorry, they're not new in any way. Lost my train of thought there. So here's a Wikipedia page of basically Constellation Brands. I suggest you go check it out. I don't want to make an entire episode on them. I j really just like the fact that they're invested into Canopy Growth and how they can help Canopy Growth literally reach the entire global market because they, as a company, are already reaching the entire global market. Whew. Let me catch up some comments real quick while I catch my breath. Something about talking crap. Andrew, what are you talking crap about in the comments? If you cash apped us or venmo us, it looks like Andrew's taking care of that as we speak. Do we have any questions or anything before I move on?
Ryan, yes, you can send the $100 through PayPal. Andrew, please post our PayPal that they can send it to. All right, let me get into the rest of this. So basically, the next catalyst you can be looking for for Afria and Tilray, April 14th, they are looking to approve the proposed merger. Within the next month, you're going to see both of these companies hold their official votes for the current shareholders. If you're a current shareholder, you do get a say in this company. That's one of the great things about being in the stock market is you literally own shares of a company and your vote does matter. And if you want this merger to go through and you own shares of either company, you are welcome to partake in the vote. Once the vote goes through, in my own personal opinion, I really do think this vote's going to go through. I haven't seen any supporting evidence of why it would not. And... I have seen a lot of supporting evidence of why it will, and especially with Mexico legalizing the use of recreational cannabis throughout the entire country. Honestly, the U.S. isn't far behind at this point. I've been saying it for a couple years now that I thought within the next 10 years, the U.S. was going to federally legalize this. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and say the next five years, this is 2021. I think by 2026, you see total U.S. federal legalization of this plant. I got to be careful of how I'm wording this, but honestly, just because of the subject itself, I'm probably going to get flagged. YouTube hates us and hates this subject. Unfortunately, that's why we don't cover it as much as we could and should and would love to because YouTube hates it. Um, but that won't be the case for long. Let's see. Was there anything else I wanted to hit on? Oh, they also have, if you go to alfriatilraytogether.com, they created a joint venture website where you can kind of link and see the investor presentation A that I pulled up for you today. And you can see right here some of the highlights for the company. And they have a cool little minute video there, but I dare not play that for this live stream because again, YouTube will punish us in some severe way, I'm sure. And I'm seeing 200 watchers, only 106 likes, guys. Please go tickle that little gray button blue for us right now. Let me see if there are any questions. Do either of us invest into crypto? Atomic Blast, not currently. We have both only in the last couple months started more heavily researching crypto. And I feel like crypto is such a complex subject that I want to devote more than just a couple months of research into it before I make some huge financial decisions. But I'm going to be honest, I had a couple buddies trying to talk me into, drum roll, trying to talk me into getting into Bitcoin around $16,000 a share. And now I see it sitting around $60,000 a share. Yeah, you, it's safe to say that I am definitely kicking myself for sleeping on some of my friends' information with that one. But I am absolutely looking into that right now. But Andrew and I don't have enough knowledge that we want to claim to be experts in any way on that. It looks like a lot of people are interested in that lifetime discord and you guys are going to be the real MVPs and winners of this year because there is just tremendous, massive amounts of value coming from that discord. And before we move on, I'm not seeing any real questions here. Guys, this is your last chance for questions. This live stream is going to wrap up in the next, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. I want to give you a quick, uh, I want to give you a quick sneak peek into our next fitness episode on Alpha Status Fitness. Go check out our other channel. We got some terrific plays coming in the fitness field as well because we think it's all about health, wealth, love, and happiness. We've been teaching you how to dominate in the stock market with a very simple long-term strategy. Now we're going to teach you how to dominate in the health aspect of your life as well. That way you can have true happiness. Check out this quick little 30 seconds of the next video dropping on Alpha Status Fitness. Pro tip, if you made it this far in the video, number one, you're a legend. Number two, why, number two, why are you still on the couch? Get to the gym. Hey, show me the back of your shirt. Get better every day, baby. Let's go. Alright guys, like I said, we've been teaching you how to dominate in the stock market. We've been teaching you how to dominate in the wealth aspect of your life. Now watch us go teach you how to dominate in that health aspect of your life. 
Ethan, our new videographer and editor, has been doing some phenomenal footage. This man is revolutionary for our stock channel. Now he's gonna be revolutionary to our fitness channel. We couldn't be happier to have Ethan on the team. If you wanna watch a journey of from when Andrew and I first started editing all of these videos ourselves to how far this editing has come now, go check out that fitness page. You can see, we, we can, it's getting pretty lit in here. Sorry, I always get fired up watching that stuff. Makes me want to go work out right now. So what's the stock symbol? Um, my favorite stock symbol is Carlos that I've been discussing in today's episode. My favorite stock symbols for the recreational cannabis market that you can invest in right now have to be, and for these specific reasons, High Tide, H-I-T-I-F. High Tide, because I feel like it's just so undervalued right now. You have Afria, you have Tilray, you have Canopy Growth, you have Aurora Cannabis, you have SNDL. You have all of these companies that have since went parabolic since we first talked about them on this channel. Channel, and honestly, almost none of their fundamentals changed with any of those companies that have already went up several hundreds of percent in share price. So that means everybody's already factoring in years of growth into those share prices. That doesn't make those bad investments, but that means that they are currently, as of this particular minute, overvalued based on their fundamentals and current revenues. High tide though isn't. You're getting into high tide right now before a massive run up and it's going to experience the same massive run up the entire rest of the industry has faced and will face. One of my next favorite stocks is the very first cannabis stock that I talked about on this channel, which is Afria, A-P-H-A. You can buy into right now. They are about to go through a merger with Tilray, which will make them the world's largest cannabis company in terms of revenue. That is just incredible. And even before that, they were still already one of the world's largest. And I believe, if memory serves me correctly, when I first brought Afria to you on Alpha Status Stock's YouTube channel, it was at that time the world's largest cannabis company. And that was one of the reasons I loved it. And I love all of these companies that I'm talking about today because they are vertically integrated. And what that means is that they own every single step of the process. In this particular case, they own literally from planting the seeds in the ground and cultivating it to harvesting it, to distributing it, to selling it, to marketing it. They own 100% of the process. Honestly, everything I've been taught in school says that that should be illegal. That uh, If I've ever heard of a monopoly in any way. That sounds like an absolute monopoly on the pipeline of this, but I love that it is legal in the case of us being a shareholder. We get to profit from this massive information. So Afria, I really love for a long-term perspective. I don't think it's too late to get into them right now, even though the stock price is way higher than it is. I do suggest on every single one of these plays, you're using a phenomenally longer-term outlook on these. Wait until well into federal U.S. legalization. Honestly, these are all plays I might not sell a single share for the next 10 to 15 years. And in the next 10 to 15 years, a few thousand dollar investment now could yield millions and millions of dollars as this is a brand new emerging industry that is about to emerge into the world's largest a total addressable market being the U.S. population. If this ever becomes federally legal for the recreational use inside the U.S., we will then be the world's largest total addressable market. And this is revolutionary. You have these companies that I'm bringing to you that are already have strong footholds in Canada, our most northern neighbor. Now they're all going to have strong footholds in Mexico, our most closest southern neighbor, it's coming to the entire continent. It's safe to say that it's coming to us soon too. These are the companies that you are going to want to invest into because they are going to emerge as the market dominant leaders. They all have first mover advantage right now because right now is such an early stage into the legalization of all of this. Even into Mexico, this is a brand new market legally in Mexico. Let's be honest, we all knew it was there anyway. I'm pretty sure that's where half of our supply has been coming from. It will continue to for the foreseeable future. But honestly, guys, this market is just gonna be taken over. These are definitely the companies you're gonna wanna be involved into. One of my next favorite, and it was, I think was the second stock we ever talked about on this channel was Canopy Growth, CGC. I still love them as a play. I don't feel they are quite as overvalued as Afria currently is with its major catalyst coming up. CGC, I think, is being slept on by a large portion of this retail investor market right now. CGC, I've said several times on this channel before, I'm saying it again, I love the strategic partnership they have and how quickly they are going to move to dominate the beverage sector of this market. Right now, there's not really a market dominant leader in the beverages. I can tell you who the first one is going to be right now, and it's Canopy Growth, CGC. Mark my words, you're hearing it first on Alpha Status. 
Woo! I know I'd be spitting them bars sometimes. Let me catch up some comments. Looks like Andrew's already doing a pretty good job of it. Price target for Sugar Maid in one year. Well, that one's hard to say. As Andrew said in the first very very first episode that we brought Sugar Maid to you, if there was ever one stock we were going to bring to you that might be a dud, it was definitely maybe going to be Sugar Maid. That still stands true because it's just a purely speculative play. Um, and they got some, I wouldn't say red flags, but they're just not as exciting to me as all these other plays. But because of how many shares you can scoop up right now, and just because of the fact that there's not going to be one winner in a new emerging sector like this, it's not going to be just the three stocks that I talked about winning this entire recreational use. There's going to be so many other stocks that I didn't even mention that are going to go parabolic in this sector. And there's really no reason to think that Sugar Maid won't as well. What they are doing makes sense. What they are doing is very exciting. Um, honestly, we, there were so many things that we did like about them. It's just that they're so tiny at this particular moment and they just have simply so many outstanding shares. They're going to need some phenomenal movement in the near future. If we want to see any kind of recognizable returns in the near future, that is. But again, guys, this sector is so big. There's going to be dozens of emerging winners in this. It, it's not a winner take all for sure. HCMC, Bobo. I've already got two videos on HCMC. Please go check those out. Um, we personally don't like HCMC, and in both videos, I gave you a detailed explanation as to why. AZFL Giraffe King says, yes, that is one that our Discord community has been talking a lot about, and they have me excited about it. I have not stopped my due diligence on AZFL yet, but everything that my Discord's been telling me about has led me to get super excited about it. Honestly, I am... I said it three times already. I am excited about AZFL. I do like what I've been seeing. Thank you, Kyle Robinson. Just paid the $100 lifetime alpha status for life membership in our Discord community. You are not going to regret that. Andrew and I strive to get better and better every day, not just on our stock channel, not just in our research, not just in the gym, but also in our Discord community. We know you guys have paid us literal money that you worked hard for, and we're going to work hard to make sure we're delivering you massive value in that channel. And if you appreciate everything we've been doing, make sure you smash that like button. Looks like we got about 70 or 80 people that have not clicked that like button yet. Whew, Mike, how do you get access? We will reach out to you as soon as this live stream ends to see money. If you guys sent us money, we'll reach out to you. Please feel free to send us a message on Facebook. We have Alpha Status Stocks on Facebook. That's the easiest way to get a hold of us right now if you sent us money for the lifetime membership. Please send me a message and we can get you that access right away. We appreciate your support. We appreciate you signing up and we look forward to welcoming you into the community. Mike Ingra says, how many shares of IDEX are you holding? Well, I know Andrew is holding quite a few and me, I think I'm owning like 26 right now. That was one I sold for a little bit of profit <laughs> almost immediately after getting into because Andrew's plays, they turn into bangers and it turned into a banger right away and I wanted to get another company. So yeah, I've only got 28 shares of IDEX right now, but that one I do plan to add significant amount more of shares in the near future. Any thoughts on SNDL? Sundial Growers, Brian and Mike asked. Yes, I do like SNDL. They're just not one of my top three favorites. I do think they're definitely going to be one of the top 10 companies in this entire industry within the next few years. They just didn't make my top three list is all. I feel that the all three of those other companies I just brought you are doing better fundamentally, but that doesn't mean Sundial is not going to win either. I do like Sundial. I do think they're doing a lot of great things too. Whoo. Just catching up on these comments. I don't know if Andrew is still in the chat. I think he went out. He was spending some time with his girlfriend tonight. Oh, nope. I see that. J.A. says, Andrew is working fast. He simply just paid and Andrew already sent the message and invite. Good, good. I'm glad to see we're delivering that value immediately. And I'm glad to see Andrew still in the chat as well. Holy cow. Evan says he made $5,000 day trading Tilray. That's incredible. You can make a lot of money day trading. I have paper day traded quite a bit on Think or Swim Swap. <laughs> Excuse me. On Think or Swim Software. And on paper... I've made millions and millions of dollars. Now, if only it counted. 
Um, I do hope to become a day trader sometime in the future, but right now with this channel, we are teaching you how to invest in a much easier way than day trading, how you can sink money into fundamentally stable companies, not have to day trade it, not have to watch it like a hawk every single day. And we're really just trying to teach people how easy it is to make money in the stock market because we weren't taught about stocks in school. We know many of you weren't taught about stocks in school or by your parents, and that's the real value we're trying to deliver on this channel, is we're trying to teach you the guys that it doesn't matter where you came from, it doesn't matter your background, what you were taught, what you know and don't know, it only matters what you do this moment moving forwards, and what you could do this moment moving forward is you could smash that like button, you could smash that subscribe button, and stay up to date with all of this pertinent information that could make you wealthier than you have possibly ever imagined. It has made Andrew and I so wealthy, actually, that when we first started this YouTube channel, we were gonna start it as a hobby together because Andrew and I have been running multi-million dollar businesses for a few years together already. We figured we had some value to deliver to YouTube. Our first goal was to begin making money through this summer of this year. Well, it was the very first month we were on YouTube that we started to go parabolic and we met that goal just 30 days after we set it simply because People are seeing value in the plays we have. People are seeing value in the Discord and what we can bring. And we've actually been so successful in this endeavor of investing into the stock market that we were able to quit our nine to five jobs. And we are now full-time YouTubers. We do this full-time bringing you all these phenomenal plays because we want all of our friends and family to win together. Nobody taught us any of this stuff growing up. And we don't see that as an excuse. Nobody had to teach you any of this stuff growing up. You can start by learning simply by smashing that subscribe button, tickling that little gray like button blue for me. I see my comments are exploding again. Mike said, Andrew said he went to the bar. Yeah, Andrew does love his Coronas which is another reason why he loves CGC. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this stream up soon. This is your last chance to get into our lifetime discord for $100 right now. It's typically $25 a month. You can do either or. You can sign up through our Patreon in the description below or the $100 membership, Cash App or Venmo, at Alpha Status Stocks or dollar sign Alpha Status Stocks. We are not going to be running these specials much longer. We just run it. We simply wanted to reward all of our earliest subscribers and all of our earliest fans because we appreciate your support so much. Honestly, guys, you are the reason that Andrew and I have been blowing up. We hope that you continue to support us. Andrew and I have so much more massive news and massive updates coming for you guys. Again, all the support is appreciated. Is anyone into fire? No, I haven't looked into fire yet heavy. Are you guys looking at any EV and genomic stocks? Well, Brian, I can tell you are new to alpha status stocks. And yeah, it's safe to say that we have plenty of e EV and genomic stocks. Please go through and watch all of our older videos if you guys haven't yet. I don't want to retract any video we have ever put out in the past. Every single video that is able for you guys to watch right now is a banger. Like literally, you can go watch any of our videos, take our recommendations. We don't give a recommendation on every single stock. In some of the videos we say, we are happy to bring this one to your attention, but we personally are not gonna be invested into that stock. We do not personally invest into every stock we talk about. That would be absurd. I don't know how anybody could possibly hope to monitor all the stocks we brought you, because I think we're at like over 100 companies we've covered. Right now, Andrew and I are trying to bring you a broad range of companies that you can invest in because one of the main things we want to teach you as a retail investor is you need to understand the company that you are investing into. Don't invest into anything that you can't explain in just a couple of sentences. If you can't give me a clear picture as to what the company is doing and why you like the company in just a couple sentences, then you really don't understand the company to the level that you should before you start investing into them. And that's why your due diligence doesn't stop with just watching one or two YouTube videos. You need to go read stuff for yourself. You need to actively look for red flags in these companies. And Andrew and I do a lot of that for you, but that doesn't mean you get to skip your own due diligence. Make sure you're watching for our Make sure you're watching all the way through the end of our videos so that you can see what our personal recommendation is. Because again, we don't recommend every single stock we talk about. There has been many stocks I told you guys to stay away from. And then I saw in the comments, oh, I bought into this stock and it did terrible. And I really wanted to get on air and just be like, well, I told you to stay away from it. You didn't watch to the end of the video, did you? Like seriously guys, make sure you're watching all the way through the end. We have massive value we've been delivering. Let me see if there's any questions. Um, I don't have a link for the $100 membership. I see many of you look like you're interested. Just send us through Venmo or Cash App or PayPal. It is all alpha status stocks or shoot me a message on Facebook. Our Facebook is also alpha status 
stocks. I know that's super hard, right? And you can find all the links to all of our social media in the description. It's honestly streamlined for you. We couldn't make it any easier for you. We will get to you. Send us a message. We will get you those links. Um, I see some people have been making a lot of money with us. Yes, that is what we are so excited to do. That is why we are here. And Richard K, thank you. Our, um, he says, your high energy helps keep folks interested during your videos. <laughs> have you had any women try to mail you their undergarments? Oh my gosh. I am glad that has not happened yet because my girlfriend would probably throw me in jail for that. Oh my gosh. I could only imagine the look on her face now. And I appreciate you guys waiting for this. I was trying to get this live stream out at 6.30, but my girlfriend forgot her body cam here. And I had to postpone the live stream for a little bit to run her, her body cam to the department. I wonder... Would I have gotten away with speeding in that case? I probably should have. What stocks are affected by Mexico's legalization? TT asked. Well, honestly, all of them. I don't. I, I think this news surprised many companies. All of the good companies should have already seen it coming and already been planning how to capitalize on this. And many of them are. But specifically, I think this news kind of surprised a lot of them and none of them have a huge strong foothold in the sector. I know some of them already do. I'm not saying none of them, but none of them are a market dominant leader in Mexico right now. I think all of these companies right now are going to be in a race to do that. But also it's not going to be quite the same as America because Mexico has a very large and cheap black market. It is not going to be easy to just open up a mom and pop shop and expect to compete. It's going to be a harder market to break into, to say the least. Really, it's the U.S. recreational legalization that has me most excited. But anybody that can conquer Mexico and Canada is absolutely going to conquer America as well. And again, I want to reiterate my top three favorite before I wrap up this live stream for you. Right now, I am favoring Canopy Growth, which is ticker symbol CGC. I am favoring Afria, which is about to merge with Tilray. Right now, you can invest into APHA or TLRY. And my last favorite right now is High Tide, H-I-T-I-F. -I -I Those are the ticker, ticker symbols I want you looking for with the recreational use of cannabis. Um, if you guys had any questions trying to get a hold of us about the lifetime membership, again, please just message me on Facebook, Alpha Status Stocks. We will get back with you. Andrew and I are very responsive. And Richard, I appreciate the high energy remark. That's exactly what I try to do is one of the one of the problems I found with the stock market when I was learning how to invest, when I was reading and watching all these YouTube videos of how to invest properly, what are good stocks, how do you find a good stock, and I myself was going through this journey of learning how to do it, what I found is 99% of these YouTubers are so freaking boring that I literally can't stand to watch the whole video. It literally makes me so angry. I want to punch the desk, but I know that's going to sound awful on the mic. Like I get so mad at watching these guys making millions of dollars sound so freaking fed up with their life oh my god i'm tired i shot two videos today like i don't see what you have to complain about when making money is so exciting it is so fun it literally changes your life and it enables you to do whatever makes you happy how do these other youtubers make it look so boring and that's where, Al, that's where Andrew and I got together and we thought we had something unique to offer to this world. And if you agree, please make sure you hit that like button. Please make sure you share our videos. Those are the two biggest things you can do to help us explode is share our videos. Every time a video comes up, watch the video all the way to the end. All of those things really help with the YouTube algorithm because we are trying to deliver massive value that I think a lot of these other YouTubers are failing to do. It doesn't matter if they're giving you phenomenal stock picks. If they're so boring, you can't make it to the end of their video. Whew, I know I went on a little bit of a rant there. I'm just, I'm passionate about it. Afria killing it for you? Yeah, I was killing it for me too. I wish I didn't exit the position when I did. Ah! But that's what you guys can learn from is our mistakes. Guys, I'm going to wrap up this string. Um, thank you for all the positive comments. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. I look forward to bringing you banger after banger again way into this year. Um, Ryan, if you sent it through PayPal, then you're good to go. We'll get a hold of you. We will reach out to you guys, but please send us a message either through Facebook or any of our social medias. All of our social media is linked in the description below. Please, guys, like I said, share the channel, like the stream. But until next time, guys, Alpha Status out. Thank you so much, everybody.